Welcome to this new how-to. In this how-to we're gonna look at how you can fix the ground surfaces. Maybe you've got the issue, maybe you haven't hit the issue yet, but there are sometimes some issues with the ground surfaces. And to show you what I mean is, I open the uh, ATC, then I click on the ground surfaces and the only thing you see is uh, request feedback and go back to clearance. In addition to that, if you insert one of the add-ons, for example, the two warp pushback, if you hit uh, buttons, uh, nothing will happen. Well, that's a nightmare, right? Why can't you use this great tools or the ATC options if you prefer them? And it's kind of crappy because you can't be pushed back. You can't request the stairs. You can't request the fuel, the jetway. And although the jetway in some cases works, uh, and all the other things like are working, for example, opening the door, etc. Normally works, right? As you can see. So based on that, I performed some research and found out that it's caused by the airport services. I found it on one of the uh, fora, I think on Reddit, uh, where someone said, hey, it's been caused by the fact that there are some community add-ons and also some, some paid add-ons, which do have the airport services included but actually they're not included which uh, might cause issues so then i thought okay really nice right i know that this doesn't work how can i fix it let me show you what i did so what i did is i created a script because if you would go to the uh community folder right in my case I'll, let me go to that uh, where is it local packages flight simulator local cache packages community there are over 178 uh, custom add-ons community add-ons it's a mix of i would say uh, scenery but also from airports uh, liveries etc uh, in most cases what i saw is that they these issues are caused by the uh, airports and other scenery which are being added uh, mainly the airports um, but i don't want to go go to all of the, these items right because the issue is that if you hit the issue then in most cases there's an entry in the uh, layout.json uh, let me open it right so let me do it with uh, notepad which refers then to the airport services directory so based on that and based on some uh, knowledge i have about uh, powershell for okay hey let's create a script for that so what the script does it allows you or it mandates you to provide your community folder right there's no way at least there's no way the script can auto detect it so you need to provide it and based on that it will read the json file and then specifically the layout.json right you can see i'm filtering it here and once it found it it will search for the airport services and if it found the airport services it will simply write it on the screen say hey i found uh, this file and it includes the airport services that's just to identify right so it does not really fix the uh, I would say fix the issue it only reports so let me show you a quick demo how it works right so uh, I'm currently uh, located on my uh, machine so here's the uh, the file it's uh, called uh, get airport services ps1 uh, so the first thing you need to do is if you uh, download the script and I will provide you with a link to the repository where you can download it you need to change the execution policy in powershell uh, temporarily because of course the script is not signed and you can do that by using set execution poly policy dash scope uh, and then you can uh, hit the tab key and then you can for example set it to process uh, then you are asked for an uh, execution policy and you can say okay unrestricted it gives you a warning this is a warning again don't do this so don't only set it on process level then fall back to the uh, default execution policy which means if 
I would close the PowerShell window, would reopen it now, it will fall back to the uh, default method, right? So I do it like this, but you could also have do done it like uh, this. So you can say execution policy unrestricted and then hit enter. Results in the same. So once you've done that, you need to execute the script. So you can do that by uh, running the command like this, but you need to specify uh, a parameter uh, in this case, I'll, I call it community folder and then specify the community folder where your, um, I would say, community add-ons are installed, right? So that's local and then it's called uh, packages and then it's called Microsoft Flight Simulator. And then it's uh, local cache uh, packages community. So you specify it like this, right? So once you've done that, you hit enter. And what it does, it simply starts reading the files and then eventually it will post the results on the screen, right? So it does not fix the file as already mentioned. So there are four entries found, right? So it says, okay, hey, I found the airport uh, services section in uh, this folder, which is the airport uh, Echo Hotel Tango Echo uh, Teuge. I found it in the ambitious uh, pilot's toolbar. Well, that makes sense, right? Because I want to use it. And I found it in the Echo Kilo Romeo Echo Airport uh, dash uh, Oscar Alpha Kilo Bravo. And I found it in the uh, one B actual uh, asset packet ENXX. So the next step is, of course, to fix the issue. So if you don't have an ID where to start, then it's really simple. Then you simply move all four of them out of the folder and that will ensure that the um, ground servers are available again. And then simply move them in one by one. Another hint I can give you is that in some cases you might not have installed the latest version of the community add-on. So always go to the uh, website where you found the add-on and then validate if there's a newer version available. In some cases, the uh, community developers already fixed the issue and the fix is uh, really simple. You can modify the layout.json. Um, and then you can really, I would say, use the add-on, but without the airport services. A third option is to modify the JSON file yourself. So let me show you how to do that. So if we go to the uh, folder, so in this case community, and then we've got the uh, airport uh, Echo Hotel Tango Echo uh, Teuge, and then we open the JSON file. Uh, we don't want to use it every time. And then the first item you see on the top here is called airport services, right? So let me zoom in. So what you need to do to fix it is simply remove this entry and then save the file again. And once you've done that, you fix the issue yourself. But again, I always recommend you to go back to the developer and say, hey, you've got an issue with your uh, specific add-on. Uh, tell them that it has to do with the airport services and then he or she can uh, update the add-on, which will make sure that it's being fixed for you also. Now, the next question might be, okay, all nice, that script, uh, but where can I get it? Well, if you go to uh, my GitHub, uh, I will post the address also in the uh, description of the video. You can get the script and uh, you will find it here. Uh, I will try to keep an eye on it. And if there are some enhancements, I can, can create them right. Uh, once you're there, you can uh, click on it. And uh, let me zoom out a bit. And then you can say, hey, I want to open it in GitHub Desktop if you've got it. Uh, I want to edit this file. Uh, I want to delete it. But yeah, that uh, deba depends if you've got permissions, of course. Uh, but what you need to do actually is copy this content. Like I'm doing now. Then open, for example, Notepad. and then you can save it, right? That's one of the options. If you're used to using GitHub, then you can also download the file and use it, use it from there. But in this case, we're gonna do it using Notepad. So we're gonna save it on the desktop, uh, 
make sure that you set the uh, save as type to all files and then specify the file name you want to give it which is get airport services.ps1 click save and you're ready to go and then you can perform the steps which i just showed you right so an easy way to at least identify the add-ons which have the airport services and are potentially causing issues um i don't say that they always cause issues so you need to try them one by one add them again to flight simulator then restart flight simulator unfortunately um to see if the issue is indeed uh still not visible or if it's back if it's back then you're lucky then you found one of the add-ons which is not working correctly so this is where this video ends i hope you liked it uh I encourage you to download the script if you're hitting the issue. So again, if you're missing the ground services, it's probably caused by a community add-on or maybe a paid add-on even, which is uh, using the airport services in an incorrect way, which conflicts with the default airport services from Flight Simulator 2020. Easy way, run the script, identify it, update the add-on, and hopefully in that case it's fixed. If not, then you need to contact the developer and ask him or her to update uh, their community add on. I hope you like this video. If you liked it, then consider to use the like button. If you've got questions or comments, then feel free to post them in the comment box below the video. And if you want to stay up to date about new videos I'm creating, then ensure that you're subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.